morning, good morning, good morning. I'm here with Brian Jacks this morning and uh, I'll see up there some customers will come in straight away and some of them say hello, some of them will not. Then they put their messages on now. Good morning. I'm here with my old mate Jamie from Titastic and yeah. uh, we're, I'm doing my morning cycle so I said to Jamie come along and as we go around I'll tell you all the different little things that on the uh, well, we, we call it the dark side over here but dark it's side. very very light really yeah. and it's a uh, it's very it's just some really interesting little features on the way and we're going to start off by looking at the Father Ray Foundation then the Elephant Farm and so on and so forth so we're just cycle a bit follow us on the bike Jamie will uh, follow on his motorbike yeah. and um, we'll, we'll tell you what's happening Jamie okay yeah, superb thank you very much Brian for inviting us again Oh, can you for inviting me? Well, I keep forgetting. It's a bit different from Blackpool, isn't it? When we were oh, in Blackpool, yeah. like <laughs> flying the drone. Flying the drone in Blackpool. <laughs> Morning. Morning. The cyclists are going by. I keep forgetting. Somebody asked. Oh, but over here looks better now. Oh, you got a big, big fan from up near Leeds Way. Leeds. Bradford Leeds and Burnley Way, Lancashire, East Lancs. His uh, channel name is God the Good One. Can you give him a shout out, God the Good One? God the Good One. How are you, Mel, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I love your name. It's fantastic. This is Ian, the bad one, by the way. He's coming with us today. Um, normally there's four or five of us, but as we're doing this, we yeah. cut the numbers down a little bit. So I do my morning cycle every day. I'm uh, a fitness freak, freak, as you probably all know. Yeah. I've been uh, doing this for the last four years. And you've got... To keep fit. I've got the old pants on the, the He's got an electric bike just in case he wants to go that extra distance to uh, Rayong or something. Yeah, well, there's, a, <laughs> there's quite a few hills where we're going, so... Right. Just coming in. Hi, Mr. Mitch. He's our number one moderator on here. He keeps everybody in check. Hello, Mr. Mitch. Welcome to the uh, show. I hope you enjoy what we're doing this morning, but we're going to do a little bit of cycling and show you a few of the little uh, things around this area. Right, let's go. And, we've, of course, we've got Shiri here from Shiri Amor Travels. Hi, lady, see. Morning, hi. She's going to be taking care of the boom mic. I pinched off of her this morning from her live stream last night. Right. You're in charge of that. You're in charge of many things. And you can see the chat also. Ah, today is the cameraman. Don't do it, Hanka. Mr. Video Hanka. Early wake up again today. Wow, this is the night where I am. Where I am now. East Pattaya. She never come here before. What the Kakur Hunter? Hello, how are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Today, Chili, be Pamela, lady. They're waiting for us, a little loud. Camera, right side. Camera, yeah. Take this way. Okay. He will 
stop and to all ask us to come like this. That's when he can start to speak. Elephant village is just up here on the right hand side, but just before that, we've got the, the Father Ray Foundation, which is one of the um, one of the biggest charities here. Where they look after all the orphan children, so we'll, okay, we'll just have a quick deco in there. Father Ray Children's uh, home, and it's the foundation. And um, all the all the kids in Thailand, not all the kids, but many of the kids in Thailand, they've got no mums and dads. Uh, they bring him here, and, and he he looks after them. It's a it's a massive charity, but he does a phenomenal job, an absolutely phenomenal job. And um, the kids go out on tours and stuff like that. And sometimes we we sponsor them down on the beach and things. Yeah. You know. Just one of a couple of different places that, uh, that they look after the children. So, so the, the main point is in Thailand, they do look after the poor people and the, and the yeah. you know the kids with no parents. It's, it's a wonderful thing. We're going to go up a little bit further now, Jamie, and have a look at the uh, elephant farm. Hopefully, there might be one elephant around, but I'm not too sure because obviously with COVID, yeah. they've lost a lot. Okay.
as you can see, Jamie, we've just driven through the elephant farm itself, or the elephant yeah. village. There's no elephants around because uh, of COVID. Um, I've been told that they haven't got the money to feed the elephants, and to feed one elephant a day is quite expensive. Yeah. But this is the field they normally roam around, and oh. you know, during the normal periods when there's no COVID, there's normally like half a dozen elephants out, or just you know, yeah. wandering around eating the grass and so on. But as you can see, the place is the place is dead at the moment. It's just terrible, really. All right, we'll go along a bit further and uh, see what else we can find, shall we? Okay. Cheers. It's okay, you want to do it? Yeah, brilliant, thank you. Okay, when he's speaking, put the microphone near him, right? I'll pull it back. Five o'clock every day, uh, two or three dozen people come along here with their little model aeroplanes and they fly up and down this sort of runway and they fly all the way around and it's great fun because they crash into those fields over there and <laughs> they can't find the plane. <laughs> but uh, this is this is uh, the model club. Mainly foreigners use it. It's a few type people, but mainly foreigners. But this is the, uh, the little airfield. Quite pretty. And the, the next airfield we're going to see is the big one with the with the uh, big micro lights in. So, wow. okay, let's go.
you're having dip requests already. <laughs> <laughs> if you look over there, over to the, see the temple just at the yeah. bottom of the hill there? Yeah. You can see a flag on the top. You can see yeah. a flag right on the very, very top of the thing. On the mountain. But, yeah, yeah there's, there's three or four temples in that little area. Um, I, I think it's the Temple of the Ghosts, I think it's called. But, then the next temple we'll see is the actual temple of the ghost. It's a white temple. Oh yeah. Um, we've got to see that in a minute. But uh, you can go up there or not? Yeah, you can go into there. Yeah, but we'll, we'll go by. Jamie is uh, over, well over to the right over there. Oh, wow. That's the sports stadium, the out the outside one, and to the left of it is the indoor sports stadium. Um, they're both relatively new over here, but uh, yeah. I haven't seen the big one. I, I don't think it's open as yet, but um, still under construction. Yeah, still under construction. The in, the indoor one, they they have uh, indoor markets there as well. It's a oh. it's, it's huge building. I mean. And if you look, uh, as we're going down the road here now, if you look straight in front of you, you'll see the, the John TM and Nar John TM, which is yeah. um, along, the, along the beach there. There's a lot of people know, the people, in, your viewers in here don't know, it's one of the beautiful, most beautiful beaches. We're down there most uh, days, we live that way. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's well, you, you, if you look, as we're going down, you can see it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go down here. Yeah. And then into um, the, Reservoir. Oh yeah. Just before the reservoir, there's a jet ski oh, yeah. racing place. I'll show you as we go along. Lovely.
is the reservoir. We're going to go across it in a moment, but this particular part of the reservoir here is kind of um, just like it's shaded off from the big, big part. And this yeah. is where they do all the jet ski racing and, all right. and so on. Um, but the whole of this area we're going around now for quite a way is the is or was the reservoir for Patia, but I think the water levels are quite low at the moment. Are people hire to have a play about yeah, on the jet skis well, as well. Think, well, yeah, well, there's no COVID about yeah, obviously. <laughs> Okay, we've got a little bit further. I go across the river. Okay, across the river. Right? Behind us is the big, the main reservoir for for Patio, one of the main reservoirs. But over to the right here, you can see the biggest building. Here. That's uh, the Ambassador Hotel. Oh, yeah. And at one point in time, about oh, no, 20, 20 years ago, that was the biggest hotel in the whole of Asia. All oh, right. It's called the Ambassador. And downstairs, underneath, there's a, a snooker hall. With, I think it's about 80 tables in there. It's, it's, oh, wow. it's absolutely amazingly big. But to the left of it and the right of it is uh, uh, Naj on TM and yeah. um, goes all the way down and you can see the mountains in the background that, that's towards Uta Pau. And then as we go along, if you look directly over to the right in a moment, yeah. you'll see a small mountain, funny shape, it looks like a, a helmet. That's Buddha Mountain. Oh yes. Um, yeah. With, a, with a, the big Buddha with a golden thing on, a gold uh, oh, edged emblem. In the, edged into yeah, the actual yeah. side of the building. Yeah. That, Evidently that was a, given to the king by somebody, I'm not too sure what it was, but, but, the, but all that is just, uh, John Tiem is to the back there, to that, over that side there, yeah. and it goes now John Tiem and so on, and that's Patio in that direction, you know, right behind us. Okay. Okay, let's Good go. go. Let's yes, go. Right, go on. Yeah, go on, that's alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you.
the same thing here. The, we the weather's wonderful all the time. Even if it rains, it you get dry in five minutes. It's just a, a wonderful way of life to be able to cycle around in the morning. Keep it fit. I'll be 25 in October. <laughs> Looking good for 30. <laughs>
all your listeners and viewers that are into sex. Yeah. Yeah. If you just look at the notice on that board there, it says Hedonist Place. Happy. <laughs> That's it. That's the way it all happens. Wow. Hedonism. Wow. <laughs> That's not on the tourist map. It's not on the tourist map, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, it, is now. It, it is now, obviously. <laughs> This place where people to go to have sexercise together. Uh, exercise, yeah. Sexercise together. <laughs> all sorts of different sex they like. You know? All sorts of different. They can walk around, walk around naked. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think he wanted to show us this. <laughs> Is it locked there? open obviously not at the moment because of Covid but when it's open it's very very popular you get loads of people here. I think uh, a friend of ours called Havlik yeah. from Ireland he comes and plays with you doesn't yeah, he? Comes he comes and plays with us yeah. yeah. He's, like in, England. he's in England at the moment. That's right yeah. 
Right, we'll go up to the airfield, shall we? That's my fun. Um, okay. Can we stop for a couple of minutes? Let's have a go at this. I've had one of these for a long time, I know exactly what problem is in that. Yeah, I mean, when you really go for it, you know, you do get that electric kick in, but you seem to be fighting against the brakes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's meant to be going up to level. You know, and a lot, it's a lot easier when you just use the electric, but I use a bike without electric usually, and yeah. it's much easier than using that. It just feels like you're right. having to work out there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you really push it, and then it's alright. Yeah. I think you trust it. Trust it? Yeah, better. I don't know, it's right now. Isn't it? So when you really push it, it really does go for it. But then when you try and just keep up that, that pace of, say, 33, you're fighting. No, that's cool, mate. That's fine. Just a bit of a technical adjustment. We've got half the way around. Well, we're going to go to the airfield next. <laughs> I just wonder whether you were ever just in the vlog. How many uh, followers have you got on the uh, channel? Uh, on that channel, uh, five and a half thousand. Wait a minute. That's the old one. Do you want to go in? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. In inside there's a swimming pool and a snooker table. It's lovely in there. Come and have a look. So soon we're going to go in the yard. Uh, See the swimming pool and have a pool. Don't forget to use the mic. This is Colin, he's the owner of the gap here. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you, Shuri. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got a look round, Cheers. Yeah, yeah we been quiet at the moment, obviously, yeah. <laughs> with everything going on. So this is the Astros. Yeah, this is the... Uh, yeah, the carpet has to take. It's, um, you usually open most of the week. We're open, uh, we're open seven days a week. Yeah. Uh, basically from nine in the morning till whenever anybody wants to be here. And then obviously we've got the grass as well. And I'm taking the opportunity to grade it at the moment, you know, because yeah. we've got nobody playing on it, which is good. We've just put 18 ton on the sand. Wow. <laughs> 
part of the leveling process. Very good. My father plays bowls in Canada. And yeah. A friend of mine from Ireland. Um, he's got a YouTube channel called Have Leg because yeah. if you, you know Ken. Yes. He plays here. Yeah, with they, every, yeah, I think like, every Wednesday. Yeah, they do. The lads all come up and you know. Uh, and we get quite quite a lot of customers. We actually get a hell of a lot of customers when it's not yeah, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut everything down, even private pools and people's villas and cannot yeah. use them. Oh. There we go. Clubhouse, which is uh, obviously. Um, oh, yeah. Lovely. Bar, pool table. Dance. And, uh, That's what I like about this camera, so it picks up dark areas quite well, you can see. Yes. Yeah. So you do the food, drink, oh, the we lot. do food, drink, they've got rooms. Oh, you got accommodation on, as well? Yeah. yeah. On, on street rooms and, and then uh, yeah, we for parties and that as well, yeah. you know, because we've got the outside area. Well, we're here, here. We're just, we're just we, we've literally just put this in, in in the last three weeks. All right. We had the shelter in, and we, but we just had, so we've, we've manufactured tables and seating area at the front. So we're just finishing it off at the moment. All right, so it's yet to be used. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just uh, upgrading the floodlights on, on that green so mm. we can start doing evening bowling. So you can't really yeah. bowl on the grass in even, it gets too damp and the All grass right, slows yeah. down too much, you know. Yeah. Whereas the artificial is great because you can, even when it's raining, it actually gets quicker. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Jack, I think Jack ends up in the, in the gutter, is it called? Yeah, well it goes through it, it's designed, the, that's actually uh, what's called a dynamic base. It's designed for the water to go through the carpet and the underlay mm. and actually through down to the drainage. So we can deal with the the big weather we have yeah. here, you know, which is good. Yeah. Eighteen ton of sand. Yeah, we have a viewing up there, which is great when we got the. Cause we have a lot of finals on here, mm. so we have people up on the viewing gallery there, and seating around, and it gets quite busy. How far afield do people come to? Oh, we get people coming all the way from Chiang Mai and oh, do you? but we get um, we have people come in from tours coming in from Australia and China a lot from oh, Hong, right. it's massive in Hong Kong yeah. yeah and every year we have like a couple of international tournaments so oh, I get the Hong Kong and a few Japanese teams and Borneo and oh, wow. um, yeah, pretty, pretty, most of the Malaysia national team come in um, because they they tend to use it if they're gonna strange thing is Malaysia is massive in bowling they're probably probably one of the best teams in the world it's oh, part right. of their education curriculum you know all right yeah <laughs> crazy isn't it yeah, they've got five never. five world champions and and two about two years ago they were going to the Philippines to play the Asia games on grass and they've got only they've only got artificial so a month before they're due to go they come here <laughs> to practice <laughs> crazy isn't it <laughs> you know you think yeah yeah. How long have they stay here practicing? Oh, they, well, they were they were here for two weeks, so they, yeah. and then we had the Thai national team practicing here as well, so it, it was quite interesting. So I decided I'll have an impromptu triples tournament. Yeah. So we had um, we had 32, 32 teams, three man teams, five world champions playing, three international teams playing you know? wow. it was just one of those crazy <laughs> moments yeah. that you don't expect <laughs> it comes out of nowhere oh. <laughs> yeah. that's been good a yeah. couple of weeks yeah but it's a it's a fun place if you know what I, mean. I, I just keep it very relaxed yeah um, it's certainly if, got that chill vibe to it yeah and but how, how long have you had this uh, had up this, and running as it's well it's, it's now. been running as a bowling club for, um, probably about Ooh, 12 years. Right. I've had it for six, seven years now. Yeah. But the first two years, I was away working, so I didn't bother with it too much. And then I thought, I just let it tick over. Yeah. And the place we needed a lot of work when I bought it. You couldn't even walk through here. This was part of the house. Mm. There was no access to get through. 
So I basically, this was a snooker room, so closed the part of it off, put an access in, so he could come straight through. I had to put refurb everything in, in the house. But the house itself is actually beautiful because it's all hardwood, you know? Oh, yeah. Whoever, yeah. whoever well, it was a German guy who built it, but he did a bloody good job on the build. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. It just needed, um, I don't know. It, Needed modernising, that's it. Yes, say. yeah. You know, typical upgrading. Thai, you know. <laughs> yeah. Good quality build, but the finish was typical Thai, <laughs> if you can imagine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was in real estate in the UK and you'd still come across people living in the 70s. Oh, yeah. It's amazing when you uh, go in so many different houses, different areas all over the UK. and. Like some places were museums, some yeah. people look like antique shops. Yeah. It was well, like, and, and you never, you never see in the 20 years I was going into other people's homes, it never ceased to amaze me. Yeah. Uh, going in and okay, well, what we are, and then finding toys in cupboards yeah. and things when you're taking people to oh, train yeah. and show oh, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yes. And yes. then <laughs> I remember this one lady, she had a it, 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 it take you back. As soon as you walked into the room, there was uh, something hanging from the chandelier. Oh, right. Beautiful. And yeah, it looked like a person, <laughs> but it was her wedding dress being oh. hung up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, not good. Yeah. It's a frightening thing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. Yeah. And of course, it's good when, we, when, we got, when everybody's falling, because I get people coming different groups, different days of the week, and people coming in and out all day, so it's a big influx and overturn of people, you know. Yeah. Like I say now, it's just uh, basically, you use the time and the opportunity to start tidying things yeah. up and replacing things. Yeah. yeah, and of course nobody's got a date when well, no, it's, that's it. Because even September's being pushed back. No, now. that's right. I, I don't see it happening for an, a, another six weeks or so, eight weeks probably. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd bring him here because it's uh, yeah, it's interesting for. Yeah, it's great. For, yeah. For, uh, people, we, we're doing a lot. I'm doing another blog as well next week, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm not too sure who it's for now, but yeah. well, I'll bring him over. That'll be good. Whenever you want to go, Jamie, let me know. We're going up to the airport next, which is just okay. Yeah. 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 Right. You going up the road, are you? Yeah, just yeah. up the airport. Yeah. Just a shot. Just. Yeah. Was that less? We're poser. Yeah. Here when it's uh, when things are open. Oh, the feet. It's good. It's good. Brian, I'll tell you. Yeah. 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 They think, oh, it has to be this size, so then they have to break her ankle. Oh, you can. Yeah, they run out of room. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> yeah, but she's not real, so it's okay. She looks a bit. She has a friend with the same problem. Oh no, this one looks more comfortable. Yeah. Just turning around to say hi. Welcome. Crazy. Good morning, dirty old man. How are you? Well, I've them twice. I swear to you, I have no pain whatsoever. Did they work it? I don't know. You heard me complain about my back. Oh, I think it's, I don't know. No, no, I don't know. You don't complain about it. Nothing at all. Right. Well, it, there's five little pieces, look like pieces of wood. Yeah. I know them. I That's know exactly what they are. Oh, yeah, because Coit gets them. She's got them here. They are good, aren't they? Take the five at once. Yeah. Just swallow yeah, them. Yeah, that's like that. Normally they have to sort of wait a day or... Honestly, I have no pain whatsoever. Yeah, I, I know what I know what you're on about. Cheers, yeah, Miss Inner. Do you want to go, Jay? Oh, well, go whenever you're ready. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm going to have to no take rush. a move anyway. Because yeah.
interesting. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're very good. I mean, I, I recommend them if, you, if you've got them. Yeah, no, I definitely forgot all about them, actually. Yeah, Koi, well, they're, they're brilliant. Well, Koi used to get them very often. little tablet. Mm. Yeah, it is. Right. We're going there now. If he's there, yeah, that's, um, herbal I'll, remedy. Yeah, it's a herbal thing. But, yeah, but I took him once. Anyway, oh, I know, no pain since. In, in there, the, well, well, he'd been two, three, three days. Yeah, really bad time. Yeah, I took him on the first day. Yeah. Had no pain the second day. Had no pain the third day. I took him the fourth day. This is the fifth day. Oh wow! Yes. Every other day. Well, that's nice to see you. Thank you, mate. Appreciate the tour. Thank you. We, we, we broke down once with bikes and Colin picked us up on the way. Is that how you met? Well. <laughs> oh, I've got my electric bike as well now. Oh, what one have you got? Yep. Uh, what one have you got? I've got, I've got it built. Is it, is yeah, lawn bowling. This is the Astro Turf. And this one's the. He's just put 18 ton of sand down. He's taking the opportunity while he's been forced to close to put um, to re regenerate the lawn. And he's just put in 18 ton of sand on here. Good morning, Frank. Oh yeah, this is uh, lawn, Premier Lawn Bowling or Pattaya area, but it's just saying they are the owner. It's just saying they uh, have teams coming from all over Southeast Asia to play here in tournaments. So it's a resort as well. Uh, we've got a pool here, showers. Clubhouse. Yeah, it's, it's a sensor. It's the way it's designed. Um, it's very relaxed uh, venue. You don't have to dress up. But I said, so why does the bike surge and stop and surge and stop a bit? And, and oh, he said the problem. I think the bit rate. Right, I don't know what the uh, signal. Oh, the signal's strong here. It's not looking very smooth, I think. Uh, What's that? Well, everywhere. Where you go, you end up talking to people, don't you? Yeah. It's a bye, it's a bye, though. <laughs> I like your uh, top. I've got, I got oh. nine or ten of these. Somebody apple in the uh, right shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, who is it? One of my old girlfriends. <laughs> in, my, in my dreams, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are quite good because they're air taxi. Oh yeah, yeah. Breathable. Air taxi and sexy. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go, Captain. <laughs> okay. Quick, quick. Hey, old mate. Okay. So we're off to the airfield now, where we're hoping to get to hire a micro light. But we'll uh, do the micro light for another day. But we're going now to check out the place. Okay, cameraman. <laughs> Chup chup. Chup chup. Enjoy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, I want to go to the house too. Really. My my daughter, she will love to she she like baby girl.
going on? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> it's, a, it's a venture. Okay, I'll look on the map. Someone's home. Yes. Go a long way. Yes. Okay, we have to go back. Uh, what do you say? The uh, Jack Jack Road, same Are you okay or not? Are you okay? Uh, We're okay. We just killed a cat. Oh, but. Uh, Are you okay? No. Are you okay? Okay. Uh, the cat okay? Uh, oh, cat. Are you sure? Are you okay? Oh. It's broken or not? No, I'm not sure. Look at that. 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 Look at